a very good evening students i am recording this very short video for the terms of positions what are the relations of the structures or organ in relation to each other okay because in my last video which i posted about a year back there were some questions because most of you have not understood what is contralateral so i thought that why not to present these terms okay unilateral bilateral ipsilateral and contralateral once again and explain you it in detail okay this is a very short video of few minutes and i will try to explain all these terms once again those who have not understood these terms okay no so first i will come to uh, the term that is unilateral which is quite easy and you all of you know what is unilateral okay now the structure or structures which are occurring in our uh, body it may be an artery it may be a vein it may be an organ it may be any other structure in our body okay which is occurring on one side of the body what is one side of the body let us see this diagram which i am showing you with the highlighter okay this red color dot which is moving in the first diagram you see it here here you try to understand and by this time you must be knowing that what is the median plane this red line which is dividing the body into two equal half right and left is passing exactly through the median i mean say mid portion of the body that is in the median plane and this is the median plane on this side will be the right side of the body and this side will be the left side of the body so this is the median plane which divides our body into two equal half right and left and in relation to this median plane if any structure is occurring on right side or the left side only either it is present on right side or it is present only on the left side okay then this structure is called as unilateral ek hi taraf body ke ek hi taraf median plane ki or side right side mein ya left side mein jo bhi organ hota hai we call it as the unilateral organ for example in this second diagram you try to see here this is this a uh, structure which is in the violet color this where my pointer is moving this structure is present on to the left side of the body okay and this structure is a spleen and this is the only structure in body okay it is always uh, i mean say is present only on to the left side not on to the left side this is the spleen does the spleen will be a unilateral organ to hum isko unilateral organ bolenge in this way see this organ where my pointer is moving now it is seen in the green color and this is the gall bladder the storehouse for the bile okay which comes from the liver liver is not shown here it is just only the gall bladder is shown here in the green color so the gall bladder occurs on to the right side of the body and it is the only organ and that's why the gall bladder is again a unilateral organ okay it is a unit in the similar way you can see here this is the ascending colon a large intestine and here is the descending colon the right large uh, this ascending colon it occurs on to the right side while this descending colon it occurs on to the left side similarly though the liver is not seen here liver is an organ which the large part of which lies on to the right side a very small part of the left lobe it lies on to the so in most of the time we also say that the liver is on the right side okay the, even though you don't consider as the liver as unilateral but definitely ascending and descending colon gall bladder and spleen they are unilateral organ so there should not be any confusion and up i think all of you have already understood what is the unilateral organ so i am passing to the next slide where we will learn about the bilateral organs now what is a bilateral organ now here the organ which are occurring on both the side okay that means on our right side of the median plane as well as on to the left side of the median plane that means they are two organ one occurring on one side 
that is right side another occurring on to the left side of the median plane this kind of the organs are called as the bilateral organ for example in the first diagram see this pointer this is the kidney and this is the right side of the body in the abdominal cavity this is the kidney on to the left side above which is the spleen is also seen so you can see that the kidney is a organ which is occurring on the right side as well as on to the left side of the median plane hence the kidney should be called as a bilateral organs okay similarly in this diagram second diagram you see the two structures which are lung this is the lung which occurs into the right side of the thoracic cavity in the pleural cavity you can see that this is the right lung and on this side you can see this is the left lung okay so the lung is again a bilateral organ which occurs on to the right side as well as on to the left side similarly you can imagine that the testis which lies in the scrotum okay it is also the right testis and the left side side okay that's that's the testicles are also the bilateral organ similarly in female abdominal cavity pelvic cavity rather to be very correct it occurs on the right side as well as on the left side so there are two ovaries right and the left ovary okay so the ovaries testes the suprarenal which lies above the kidney you see here this small structure is above the kidney hence called as suprarenal lung okay and these are the bilateral organ of our body i hope that there is no problem in this unilateral and bilateral our main aim is to show you what is ipsilateral and what is contralateral so let us first understand what is is ipsilateral structure that means those structures which occur on the same side of the body that means only on the one side those structure which are on either on the right side or on the left side this is in relation to the uh, with one another structures occurring on one side okay for example this is the spleen here this violet color structure which we already seen this is the spleen and then this colon is the descending colon both this structure in relation to one another they are here and they are on to the left side of the body that means spleen Uh, as well as the descending colon they should be called as ipsilateral that means on one side of the median plane okay and this is the left side of the median plane where this spleen and the descending colon they occur so spleen and descending colon in relation to one another they should be called as ipsilateral organ similarly if you compare the green color structure which we have said it as a gall bladder and this was the ascending colon they will be also called as ipsilateral but they are in relation to one another that means gall bladder and the ascending colon both they occur on the right side of the median plane hence they are called also called as ipsilateral organ you cannot compare the gall bladder with that of the spleen they are since occurring on the opposite side of the median plane so they should not be called as the ipsilateral organ okay so i hope that you have understood what is ipsilateral occurring on one side of the median plane in relation to one another when we compare the two structures okay let us go to the last which most of the students are confused about what is contralateral okay and here we will learn that the structures occurring on opposite side of the body that means one is on the right side and another is on the left side of the median plane from example see the example this is the spleen again It's because it is a unilateral organ only only one spleen is there on the left side so you compare the spleen with that of the gall bladder 
which is also a unilateral organ which also occur only on one side that is only on the right side so the gallbladder and spleen when compared to each other they are contralateral means they occur on the opposite side of the median plane one occurs on to the right side and another is on to the left side thus gallbladder and spleen in relation to each other they are the contralateral organ then spleen again you see spleen and this blue color structure is the inferior vena cava okay and this inferior vena cava is very close to the median plane but it occurs on to the right side okay so the inferior vena cava this large vein okay in blue color is the inferior vena cava in abdominal cavity so if you compare these two structure inferior vena cava and the spleen they will be also contralateral because inferior vena cava is on the right of the median plane and that of the spleen is on to the left side of the median plane okay similarly if you compare a sending colon where my pointer is moving and with that of the descending colon here these two structure they are also on opposite side and that's why they are the contralateral one on the right side and another is on the left side so this structures in relation to each other they are on opposite side hence they are called as the contralateral organ i hope that you have understood what is contralateral and what is ipsilateral try to draw the diagram in your rough notebook and try to understand what is ipsilateral and what is contralateral structure coming back if you have understood to the slide and i have to acknowledge the grant atlas of anatomy it is the first edition south asian edition which was edited by me okay and these three diagrams which i have adopted they were from this grant atlas of anatomy i am thankful to the walters clovers who are the publisher of this grant atlas for the south asia thank you very much for watching this short video on some of the terms of position which many of the student have asked me to explain it again thank you very much